This is our goals to the strategic plan. Former County Commissioner Jay Jones explains those who commit crimes often do so out of desperation. Living conditions, wages, access to food are just a few factors that can leave someone in that situation. Jones says he's been wanting to host an event like this for almost five years now. A lot of times we have conversations in silos. It's time to put away the silos and have a collective conversation so we can collectively understand what crime looks like, um, what we can do to fix the conditions of it, and what we can do to make sure we hold those accountable who can be partners to change the narrative. Jones says it's not a simple or overnight fix. He explains combating crime also requires taking a look at systemic issues in society that can feed into the problem. There are more African Americans tied to this problem because it's more African Americans tied to unemployment, it's more African Americans looking for housing, there's more African Americans looking for situations to get out of the situation they live in and the conditions they're in to move into a brighter situation. Some of the sponsoring organizations include the city's new Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement, 100 Black Men of Savannah, and the A. Philip Randolph Institute. Jones believes those organizations, as well as the public and elected officials, need to work together to find a solution to improve the lives of all residents. I'm born and bred here, raised here in this community, and I can see this community thrive because I've been to this community when it was a thriving community when I grew up. And so I think that we just need to take the conditions, not look at the past, what's bad, but let's, let's forge a path of solutions to move the narrative forward.